Hello, and thanks for watching another video by The Free College. This is going to be a tutorial video for Wikibooks. And <coughs> first, I'd like to give thanks to uh, thanks and greets to uh, Father Cliff Jacobson for doing the class on why we do Mass, and sort of that sort of reminded me to revisit the Catholic Wikibook or Catholicism wiki book that I began editing in 2000, uh, January 2023. I sort of abandoned for more Wikipedia work. And, um, you know, his class order made me want to go back to it. And Deacon Mike Lehman from St. Patrick's as well, who's a former Army Ranger. And he uh, also uh, told me uh, that this Wikipedia project can be considered a ministry which I think is awesome, totally motivated me to want to do more, and I appreciate it. And I want to also give thanks <clears throat> and greets Father Ray Rodriguez, who helped me uh, figure out a few definitions, a few examples of sacred spaces that I was trying to come up with, and he helped fin finalize me finalize that. Okay, so now that we got the thanks and greets, um, <clears throat> as you know, I I went from... Um, being a Wikipedia editor with T. Willis Jr. being almost 9,000 edits and I had to start fresh on Wikibooks and I had to, a lot of revert, meaning a lot of my work was removed and taken down and for this reason and that. And so I'm just going to give you an example of how to get through some of that. And um, so, I, and I also, if you want to uh dedicate uh some time or some effort to uh editing uh wikipedia for religious uh, catholic reasons um you can watch my video tutorial series on wikipedia editing and you can go on google uh catholic type in catholic portal wikipedia to dash do and the first thing wikipedia the wikipedia wiki project catholicism to-do list um, it'll go here. Uh, if you put it on the desktop version, um, you can see anything that's read as you scroll down. That's stuff that needs immediate attention and help. Uh, that's so if you, uh, feel like you want to, uh, help with, with, uh, that, um, if you have some, some time work on that, uh, we appreciate it. Okay. Uh, back to the wiki books. So, um, <clears throat> wiki books or this is the desktop version of this page we'll put it on the mobile version um there already is a catholicism book there already was when i got here catholicism you just type in catholicism in the search bar and booms catholicism you get to this page and as you scroll down you know you see a little blue a lot of red uh i did i filled in the blue one for sacraments um, you can click on baptism and see I added. I wanted to make sure that uh, people knew some of the main, I guess you could say, ingredients that we use in a baptism. Holy water, chrism oil, and catechumens oil. I think I said that right. I don't know. Um, but I just just kind of put that there, you know, just a quick little thing. Um, but um, what I recommend is actually starting with a glossary. And... Um, I'll put this on the desktop version, and as you can see, um, you can click edit source. I'm logged in, by the way. Um, you need to make an account on wikibooks.org and log in, and then on the top right, you'll see, like, that's all the stuff you'll see if I if you're logged in, your username, it'll say my discussion, sandbox, all that stuff if it's on the desktop version, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um... If you scroll down, you'll notice somebody put in uh, in the app uh, an appendix section, and in that appendix section, you click to view the source on the desktop version, and you'll see the first line under uh, the first line is appendix with the uh, equal signs. Equal signs mean that that's like a section of a page. Okay, and we'll we'll see that again in a minute. Um, so someone made an appendix section and, um, 
someone did the fancy, this is some fancy code looking stuff here, you know, with the fancy bracket looking things and Catholicism slash chapter and then that funny thing, glossary, you know, and, you know, and all that stuff. All right. So uh, we don't, all we need to know is that that made the word glossary, the word, see where I'm going to highlight it. Uh, the word glossary is right there, and then below it, the word languages, and below it, the word timeline. That's really what you're looking at is it made those three things, glossary, languages, and timeline. So what I did was I logged in. I'm in the desktop version. I keep saying that. I really want to make sure if you got stuck somewhere, you, you are on the desktop version. If you, if you don't know what that means, that means go to the bottom right hand side corner of your screen and if it says mobile view you're on the desktop version if it says desktop view you need to click it and you'll be on the desktop version okay now going back um so when i saw a glossary i'm like hmm that'd be pretty easy right i just got to throw some words together that are catholic i mean that I stuff that I might know or that I can sort of look up what huh what is that thing called and maybe some describing keywords and I can find it better than other people anyway what I could do is I'll click it and then um you can click edit source and you'll see the first line is some fancy code looking thing uh you know, blah, blah, Catholicism slash chapter glossary. Okay, fine. You got to put that in, okay, to basically say uh, I'm going from there to here. But then once that's in place, I put in uh, the, fr the, the first part of the glossary, you have terms, phrases, and abbreviations. That's how these wiki books are divided. The glossaries are divided into those three things, terms, phrases, and abbreviations. So I'm like, okay, terms, got to put in alphabetical order. And um, it didn't start this way, but we'll, we'll pretend it did so I don't have to click around and show you how things got, got to what. But um, we got numerical, I, the, the terms gets two equal signs. So that's, I'll show you, that's to make it over here with, to show it's the, with the greatest dominance. And then it divides into numerical, and then you'll see where numerical is. It's bolded, but yet it's a subsection of terms. So that's what the three and the two equal signs. If you know the uh, Wikipedia tutorial series, you're familiar with this already. Anyway, so you put, you know, a space, an asterisk, and if you got numerical stuff, put it in, in order, and then alphabetically, you know, do it right. And I got some help uh, from Father Ray Rodriguez, uh, of course, on this. Uh, we know he, he verified that some of these uh, places are sacred spaces. I started knowing just church and cemetery, put it like that. So I put those in. And then I went to Father Ray and I said, hey, Father Ray, I did some thinking. And I, I put a little list together, you know, and this is like my, some of my notes from editing this page. And so this is um, where I, oh, okay, I know what, the, I got lists like this. Okay, fine. And uh, just make a list, you know. And so I haven't really messed with that yet. And we're going to skip <laughs> all this funny stuff. That's crazy. Uh, so um, so we're, we're starting simple. We're going to get gradually more difficult as it goes along. So, uh, so, so as you know, we got some phrases. We got some terms of – I put terms of opposition because that's, like, stuff that makes people, like, against the Catholic Church, stuff like that. I thought it, had, I just thought it should have its own little area separate from things. And I thought that items in a Catholic Church would be great too. And I put those in a list too. Um, unfortunately, um, I can show you an earlier version of this page. Um, we'll go to view history. Um, where I tried to edit it, oops, sorry. 
Okay. Uh, so somebody re uh before somebody removed my uh, okay yeah so what happened here was uh, this is an earlier version of the page that I developed and when you click um, items in a Catholic church alcove and stuff like that it would bring you to a Wiktionary page explaining what it is. And I was told, I, I got into an argument with an administrator saying, why was that removed instead of accepted? And, the, and then they said, well, you can't do that. Then I said, well, can I do a glossary? And then, I mean, can I do a gallery with images? And the answer was, yes, I can. So I said, okay. So, so this is what I did. So I... Uh, this is real fancy stuff here at its source, and I'm going to break it down for you how it all works together, okay? Um, I, did, I did it all, and you can do it in what's called Notepad on, on uh, a Windows computer, but um, what I did was I stole this gallery code from a Wikipedia article, actually the Christian cross Wikipedia article at the bottom, I knew would have different versions of crosses because that, come on, it, it ain't Christian if it ain't a million different kinds of crosses, right? I mean, you got the Celtic crosses, you got, right? So I'm like, okay, they're going to have a gallery, right? Sure enough, they did. And I stole that code. And then what I did was I went on, uh, we'll go to, we'll have to go to the site but uh, you type in Wikimedia Commons into Google, and it, you'll go here. Then what you do is you type in whatever you want to post a picture of. You search for it, okay? And you find the code. It'll always say file first. And then it'll just be one after the next. These are all separate, one after the other. After, when you see the word file, you separate them in Notepad. Okay, and then you'll see, we'll break it apart. So this gallery code at the top and, pay attention, at the bottom, the slash gallery, that ends the gallery, okay? That code right there. Pay, don't pay attention to the Wikipedia and brackets and all that, but we're talking about this here. We're talking about this here. This ends the gallery. And this at the top starts the gallery. So we've got file and then the name of the file.jpg. We got this symbol here. And then the three, the three dots here are what make it bold. <clears throat> so the three dots, whatever's in the middle of the three dots, the word alcove, means that that's going to be bold. And then I put a dash, and then I put the definition I stole from a website or whatever uh, of what an alcove is. And even though it's funny and if I press this, it's going to go to the website and everything, um, don't worry about it. You, when you copy and paste, it's not going to matter onto a Wikipedia page. It's not going to copy those embedded links, thank God. So don't worry about it. It's, you just need the words, okay? So as you can see, the format here for each and every one of those items that I put in the gallery section is file. The, I, I, I searched for Wikimedia Commons, put the file name of the, of, the, of the image. The image is a JPG is an image file. Put that and then, and then put that line put the put the bold put the main word for the glossary in bold a dash a definition next and that's what you're seeing and just next 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 repeated one after the next over and over and over and then what that transforms into is something that looks completely unlegible and that's what th that's that's what this it looks like a whole ton of crazy monstrous code, whatever, and that. But that is that is the what a computer, I guess, recognizes as the 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 items in a Catholic church right now. And it's really cool when you put it on mobile view. It actually looks better. Um, you can click terms and items in a Catholic church. It's really cool. Um, 
and yeah, so so that you can literally the reason we use these prod these websites is so you can use the code for whatever you need it for. So, like I said, if you want to start a book, just uh, start with the glossary and um, something that you can get a bunch of, of information about specific things that people don't readily know uh, about a topic, and you can just embed it. Uh, like I said, um, don't use the 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 redirects to Wiktionary or other wiki sites, um, but you're free to use a a, a gallery and uh, put definitions and bold. And I think this is just a great uh, example of uh, of how to start uh, writing a book on Wikibooks. So thank you for watching our video, and uh, you're welcome to contribute. Uh, and feel free to ask questions in the comments. Have a great day. Bye.